I am going to install and use a plugin called Dynamic Security with the Mosquito Broker. What Dynamic Security does is that it lets you programmatically create new users, roles, and permissions on the fly. Right? You can create them during runtime. Uh, so a practical use case or the use case I'm going to use it for is that I want to be able to create users and limit them to which topics they can subscribe or publish to. And uh, when you create these or remove users or add users or add roles or remove roles and change permissions, you can do all this during runtime without needing to restart the Mosquito service. So that's uh, what I'm going to demonstrate. Uh, what I have right now is I have one completely brand new installation of Ubuntu 20.04 in this window here. Uh, I also just made a copy of this window. So both these top windows point to the Ubuntu 22.04 uh, instance. Uh, this terminal window down here, it's just another server somewhere. I can't remember where, but it's got the Mosquito client installed. Uh, be and the reason I want this window open is that eventually I'm going to do an experiment where this window will uh, publish a Mosquito message to, uh, to this server here, which will have the dynamic security and the Mosquito service installed. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is add the package library for Mosquito uh, to my Ubuntu 22.04 instance. Uh, if I install Mosquito without mention of this repository, I won't get the dynamic security plugin. So the dynamic security plugin is included as part of um, any packages I download from this repository. So that's why I do need this line. So I'm just going to update the repository. OK, great. So the repository is updated. I'll, now I can go ahead and install Mosquito service. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. All right, so the Mosquito service is installed with the dynamic security uh, plugin. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually edit the Mosquito uh, configuration file so that next time I do restart the uh, Mosquito service, you'll know to look for specific settings for dynamic security. So I'm going to edit this file right here. And what I'll do is uh, I will just add four lines or five lines. So the first is a Mosquito by default listens on port 1883 so you can change this if you want i decided to explicitly mention port 1883 next thing i'm going to do is allow anonymous false so what this setting does is that it prevents a uh, remote or it just uh, it's going to enforce that you have you be authenticated to be able to communicate with the mosquito service by saying to false you're forcing some kind of authentication or at least you're not allowing anonymous users to connect uh, if you were using the uh, traditional way of using password files with Mosquito service, they tend to recommend this for uh, per listener settings to be true. But because we're using dynamic security, it's recommended that we set per listener settings to false. Uh, my understanding is that each connection then will rely on um, well, maybe their its own independent author authentication. So someone can clarify for me uh, on that, but I have read that most people suggest uh, to set this to false when you're using dynamic security. This is the location of my dynamic security plugin. And uh, we can verify that it is there. All right, so it's there. Okay. And then we're going to save anytime we run a certain mosquito uh, control commands to add users or change roles or change permissions. We want to save some of those settings to this file here. Okay. So var lib mosquito dynamic security dot json. Uh, so that's what this line is for. The rest of this file can remain the same. I'm going to restart the service. If it hasn't actually been started already, I think it's actually already running. All right, so I restart mosquito service. And uh, we're ready to start setting up our uh, administrative user for dynamic security. So I'm going to type in this command over here. So with Mosquito 2.0 and onwards, uh, we have this command called Mosquito Control, and we're going to use the plugin 
Dynamic Security, D-Y-N-S-E-C, uh, and we're going to initialize that dynamic security JSON file. So this file is, was mentioned a few seconds ago in our Mosquito configuration. So we're going to store some of our initialized settings there. And our uh, administrative user is going to be called MyAdmin. So I'm going to go press enter on this. You're going to be asked for a password. So I will type uh, pass12345, pass12345. All right, so we've set up our administrative users uh, or our, our super administrative uh, user for the dynamic security and mosquito service uh, that we're about to use. All right, now uh, you can see some of these other commands here that we're about to start using. So, um, oh, actually, before we do that, uh, one thing we should remember to do is for this mosquito dynamic security file, uh, we have to change the permissions on it because if you don't, you do experience some uh, authorization errors uh, when trying to use, uh, uh, when trying to log in with different users uh, through dynamic security. In fact, let me just do this. You can see it's owned by root user and uh, it's not writable by the mosquito user. In fact, let's just do this for a moment. You can see that there is a mosquito user. Uh, you could run this whole service as a mosquito user, which is probably preferable. But for the sim for keeping this video uh, simple or the session simple, I'll just go ahead and use the root user. We can talk about more advanced security uh, in a future session. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, change the ownership on that file. All right and. I probably want to make it writable by the mosquito group. All right, and I think that should be good. So let's start adding a role and then define what that role can do. Then later we'll cr create a user and assign a role to that user. So this command here is I'm going to use my administrative user with this password using the dynamic security plugin, I'm going to create a role called role pizza. You can call role pizza anything you want, uh, but the dynamic security uh, function, create role, will be able to create any role uh, uh, that you define here. So if I hit enter, I've created the role. Oh, uh, let's see. Maybe, oh, I know. I think what happened was I changed the permissions on the dynamic security.json file, but when you do that, I, you should restart the Mosquito service. And then I think this will work. And there we go, yep, so now it worked. So I, uh, so that's what happens if your dynamic security.json file, if this file over here, uh, Mosquito, uh, yeah. So if this file here doesn't have the permissions uh, that are writable by the Mosquito service, you do get a bunch of unusual errors that are, uh, yeah, yeah. you get a bunch of errors that they aren't very descriptive, but they're probably going to be related to the fact that you just have a permission issue with this file. So I've uh, updated permission, restart the service, and now Dynamic Security was able to create a role that uh, I called Role Pizza. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is decide what permissions are available for this role. So let's do that. I'm going to paste this command. So again, using this my uh, administrative user for the role role pizza, it will have the publish client send permission on the topic called pizza. So that's the mosquito topic, and uh, I will allow it as opposed to disallow. All right? Hit enter. All right. So far, so good. And I'm going to also give one more permission. The role pizza can also subscribe to the topic pizza, and I'll say allow. Okay, and there we go. We've set up a role pizza, and we're ready to assign a role pizza to a user. Well, actually, before we can even assign a role to a user, we need a user. So I'm going to create a user called John. So using the my administrative, uh, my admin user dynamic secu dynamic security plugin, create the user or create client John. So that would be me. Uh, let's give it a password. I'll use the same one again. Pass 
one, two, three, four, five. Pass, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so we've created the user. And now let's add um, the role pizza to the user John by using the add client role function. Uh, and I'm going to give it a priority of one, right? So that's the one at the end. Hit enter. And there we go. So I don't need to restart the mosquito service. The user John uh, with the role it has been assigned to this role pizza, and John can actually start uh, talking or subscribing and publishing to the topic pizza. So let's give it a try. I'm going to try mosquito sub John pass uh, one, two, three, five on the topic pizza. Oh, right. Um, the other thing we'll need is the uh, mosquito client. All right, and now let's try this. There we go. I, so it's subscribed properly, and let's actually try publishing a message uh, on the same server. So using localhost, uh, this is a test, and let's change this to the mosquito pub command. And there you go. So you can see that uh, using this password, we were able to publish to this topic, pizza. If I change the password to something else, I will get an authorization error. If I don't even provide a username and password, I should get another authorization error, right? It's only if I have the right uh, username and password that I can communicate on this topic. I also can't use it on any other topics. Or actually, maybe I did, but let's try see if we can even subscribe to that one. Right. Uh, you can't subscribe to this topic, All right? And uh, let's try this again. Okay. Now this computer, uh, this terminal window here is a completely different server. So it's on a completely different public network. Let's try this mosquito pub command from this uh, server here. And because it's a remote, uh, server, we need to specify the IP address of our dynamic security plugin enabled mosquito server. And there you go. So you can see that I can even connect to it from an external server. Let's try this again. All right. So out of, uh, we can also use other commands. Uh, let me just break this for a moment. If we scroll back up, or maybe it's hard to see, but actually let me uh, find another one. So if you see on this page here on the mosquito.org documentation dynamic security uh, page, they list a whole bunch of functions that you can use. So you can know that throughout our tutorial, we use things like add client role. There's also a remove client role. Uh, there's enable client, disable client. All the functions, create client, for example, all the functions that we used in this tutorial so far are explained and uh, with examples on the mosquito.org dynamic security webpage.